This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to this week's edition of The Pit Stop, where we're here to talk about sim racing and check out all the latest news going around in the world, wonderful world of simulated motorsport. So, happy Friday, everybody out there. I hope you've had a good week so far, and I hope this is a kickoff to a even better, a wonderful weekend for everybody out there. So, what is going on in sim racing this week? Scott McLaughlin closes out the 2021 IndyCar iRacing Challenge with a C bring victory so that was some um, exciting racing getting to watch some of the big boys in open wheeler take on some racing not sure if any of you got a chance to do it but uh, watch any of that but scott mclaughlin win won the race alex palou in second rc enerson in third and that was the sebring results for that indycar challenge uh, hopefully we'll see more of those guys racing with us in, in the future. You know, so the, the real-life racing season's kicking off, so we'll have to see how many of the big names in racing stick around and keep racing in sim. I think a fair amount, I think we will retain a fair amount of sim racers uh, from the pro racing motorsport world. Anyway, also, IMSA making congratulations. This is also pertaining to iRacing. Congratulating the winners of the IMSA at iRacing Pro Series presented by SimCraft and Sebring Raceway. Uh, Scott Andrews winning the race in the LMP2 class with Philip Eng winning in the GTLM class. So uh, there are some of the results there. Looking over to Assetto Corsa, lots of results today. James Baldwin and N1 Lynn extended their respective British GT Esport Championship lead with class victories at Brands Hatch last night. So congratulations to James Baldwin of uh, uh, World's Fastest Gamer, a.k.a. McLaren team. And congratulations to him. Ooh, a little stuffed up all of a sudden. How weird is that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, lots, lots of uh, results going on. Lots of big, you know, more eSport than ever. You know, let's talk about eSport real quick. We have the super championships, the ones that are paying, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars and whatnot. But if you really start adding them up and think about whether it's the British GT that we just mentioned or various different championships for just about every sim, there is a fair amount of money to be won in sim racing. And, and it's becoming somewhat lucrative for the top of the top. Uh, also on Assetto Corsa, the Mobius Challenger Cup Season 4 starts this weekend. Qualifiers are Saturday, and the final is on Sunday night. I think years ago we talked about the Mobius Challenger Cup. So if any of you are interested in that, you can do that in Assetto Corsa as well. I think that's all we have from them. R Factor with another big update. This is from the ISI turn Studio 397 turn Motorsport Games R Factor 2. The competition system is seeing its 13th week of upgrades. This is in the April 7th, two days ago blog. And we have more Q&A, more questions from various members of the community with various answers on what's going on there. Beautiful shot of the Bentley. That was our thumbnail of the day. What a gorgeous looking screenshot that is right there um did they mention the other track stuff i think this was just competition blog but that's okay we got that covered as well yeah okay so then uh on the first we talked about that last week the portland and silverstone updates and the liveries but on the seventh they did also mention uh content updates are diri yeah diri diria and Rome EP tracks have been updated as well. So lots of updates going on at R Factor. Certainly the acquisition has slowed them down not one bit. I mean, if they had not mentioned the acquisition by Motorsport Games, would you have even noticed? I mean, everything about R Factor 2 is identical right now. So good for them on really keeping up the pace. Dirt Rally! Dirt Rally 2.0 saw an update. Right here it says version 1.18. I believe they're up to 1.20 if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken on that. Various fixes including adding True Force. True Force support. Is that a game changer? Not for me. Maybe for you. Um, no, it was 1.18. I think I got confused by the 2.0. Uh, in terms of it might have made me dyslexic dyslexically switch numbers around so version 1.18 there was an update and i know there was some like uh adjustments to, yeah here we go livery changes true force support uh other logitech really nothing that big a deal certainly not a big deal for most of us unless you're on a logitech wheel all right we have some news out of forza i think i have a few stories i might have to jump around a little bit or i'm going to miss one and we'll talk about forts again later in the show 
So right here you see this post. If you only followed their Twitter page, you might not know what's going on. But Lounge Toy dropped by Forza Monthly to deliver an update on Forza Motorsports. Participants in the Forza feedback panel are starting to get their hands on part of the game for playtesting. What is it? so people are testing the next version of Forza Motorsport. People, people are testing. Uh, that's big news. That's real big news. Uh, let's see here. No, that, where is my other forts? So hold on. Let's try to do this right real quick. Here we go. No. Oh, I think I just accept notifications. Here we go. I, I read this a few places. This one's at VGC, Video Game Chronicle. Turn 10 confirms Forza Motorsport 8 test and players can now apply. Players in Turn 10's panel we get to try a part of the next game. So this is going on. They are letting certain members of the public actually play Forza Motorsport 8. Link right here. I have a link to everything we're talking about. Every show, every topic we discuss, I'll have a link in the description of the show here at YouTube. So be sure to go join this if you want or read the full article if you'd like. Um, but yeah, you can apply to actually do that and be part of the testing team for Forza Motorsport 8. Uh, race Room. Uh, by the way, our patron trophy race for this month is going to be on Race Room. Uh, we're going to be at Portimao. Portimao? Do, do I have to put the disclaimer up again? We're going to be at Portimao in the Silhouette Cars. That's like the V8 Lexus versus i'm not sure what the other car might make was um but it's like a sedan v8 sedan kind of like a supercar type car five cars to choose from i believe in the silhouette class they're free uh port -a mile is free and we're going to be doing our patron race tomorrow morning a practice race and then next saturday we'll do our full-blown patron trophy race but uh looking at some other winners going on in the sim racing time attack the porsche club sv sim racing time attack is over and it's been close with over 3,800 entries. Con congratulations to, let's get that disclaimer going, uh, Christopher Hockfelt, Soren Jaeger, and Jack Keatley. So congratulations to those. Again, I named the names, so you guys are going to, you know, at some point, years ago I was talking about people are going to start wearing the jerseys of our eSport pros. At some point, you're going to see some kid in the crowd out there wearing a Jack Keatley jersey, you know, looking just like the, the team colors. Um, that's why I mentioned these names. I think it's really important to focus on who the big names. These are the, the Dale Earnhardt Juniors, the Lewis Hamiltons, whatever you want to call them, of our sport. Uh, Thrustmaster, they are teaming up with SCS Software. That's the company behind Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator. They're teaming up with Renault Trucks, Thrustmaster, and that SCS Software to give you an incredible opportunity to create a design which will be applied in-game on ETS2 and on real Renault trucks. So if you are a car painter, maybe it's time you apply your trade to the truck because it could be not only applied to a real world uh, uh, in-game truck, but also a real world Renault. Can you imagine painting a car that Renault was then, uh, a, a truck that Renault was then gonna put in a real life car? Uh, you go into Thru Thrustmaster T-150. Yeah, make a little pocket change when you sell it. Because um, you probably have a 300, a TSX. Um, anyway, cool competition for you painters. Get out there. Speaking of things for you guys, I'm all about you guys. Fanatic, they're hiring another uh, position. This one is a highly creative graphic designer to join their team. For more information, there's a link here. But it, I'm at the Fanatic Twitter page. I have the link in the description of the show. But if you're a graphic designer... You would rather work for a sim company, one of the leaders. I mean, Fanatic, one of the leading, maybe the leading hardware company at this point in sim racing. So if you want to work with them, you can follow that link and uh, do that. Uh, McLaren, they're just talking about their team. So, you know, we're at that point, all the teams are really uh, starting to have their places, have their lineups, know what they're going to do for the season. Anyway, uh, McLaren Shadow is officially ready to race for Season 2 of the V10R League with James Baldwin, uh, Veloce I uh, Isaac, and Elvin Smith. So uh, that's Isaac Gillison, by the way, is his actual name. What else? We got a few more things to talk about. And then actually today's show, I'm trying to keep it on a 
uh, on a good timeline here. So, uh, speaking of SCS Software or Euro Truck Simulator, Cruising Iberia event is now going on. Please join us as they celebrate their new Iberia DLC releasing tomorrow, April 8th. That was yesterday at this point. By participating in our latest World of Trucks event, Cruising Iberia. So it'll be uh, a quest to get as many miles. The goal of driving 250,000, 250 million kilometers of delivered goods by Euro Truck Simulator drivers cumulatively. Uh, also, getting back to not Forza Motorsport, this is Forza Horizon 5. Apparently the full map has been leaked with insider screenshots. So here is what the map is looking like. And yep, that's right. Yokohama, I had heard Japan. That's what I had heard. This is going to be like a total uh, uh, drift horizon, drift inspired horizon. So anyway, that's kind of cool. We're getting close. We're getting close to the new console kings. Just think, we are getting close to Forza and Gran Turismo, m m both having a title out there for us. Uh, everything you need to know about Forza Motorsport in an article here at Tech Radar, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure. There you go. What else? More from them. Turn 10 confirms Forza Motorsport 8 test and players can now apply. We just talked about that in that other article. This one's at video. Oh, no, no, no. This is the one I forwarded to, so we already covered this. Uh, but if you want to be part of that testing team at Forza, you can... F1 2021 launch date leaked. New generation consoles are also supported. So, um, according to new leak, the next iteration of the F1 game could get the go-ahead in July. So, July is when we might see. Uh, F1 2021 is projected to launch on July 16th for either Codemasters or EA. <laughs> Um, last year it was July 10th, by the way, so this isn't exactly any earlier or anything. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys, I'm just a little stuffy this morning, not sure why. I feel good, I feel good, don't worry. Uh, what else, what else is going on in sim racing? FIA certified Gran Turismo Championships return. I think we've talked about that. Um, that was a shot from Monaco in 2019. And Grand will start on Wednesday, April 21st. So we're a little under two weeks away from the beginning of that. And there's the full online season, exhibition series, season one, season two, blah, 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 blah. There you go. Oh, look at this beauty. For, I've never seen this car in the game. Apparently you can drive this in Forza Horizon 4, the Porsche 356 Outlaw RSR by Emory Motorsports. Uh, Emory Motorsports has built and cared for some of the most unique and iconic Porsche models in history. You can already find their handiwork at Forza Horizon 4, thanks to the 356C Cabriolet Emory Special. Um, anyway, look at this beautiful car. I, I think that's why I'm here. But they say the Porsche is available for 50% off on the summer playlist. So that car is on sa sale in the game. On a Firebird. Anyway, that's a beauty looking 356, isn't it? That's like twin turbos on an old 350. Can you imagine? That's a beast. That's a monster beast. All right, what else? GT Planet is talking about the new GR86 coming to Gran Turismo Sport in 2021. So this is the successor to the Model 86. This is the GR86. What else? What else? Gran Turismo also. Uh, Gran Turismo Sport FIA GTC finally opens to residents. Oh, that's nice. Uh, they'd been ruled out, so FIA certified Gran Turismo online championships were limited to certain regions. Apparently, India, South Africa, Arizona. I wonder why Arizona was on the list. What's up with Arizona? Did Arizona have some rule? I don't know. That's really weird. One of the 50. Uh, and then Quebec, of course. Well, that that's also equally as weird. Why Quebec versus... Why was Quebec out and Canada was in? Or why is Quebec the only place in Canada that's in... What else, you guys? Hot Wheels Unleashed is worth watching for arcade racing fans. This is the game I was telling you I was somewhat excited about. Can we play it? I would totally play this. Uh, we're talking about doing a Wreckfest 
patron race next month because just to do something more in the name of oh kind of just fun just blind fun uh same thing here wouldn't this be great take some of your real good sim racing friends and ones who really want to play this and know that we're just arcade racing get the power ups and all the good stuff the slippery zones the speed up zones yeah this looks like it could be a lot of fun i'll try it i'll try it for sure be even more fun with some friends all right humble bundle they have a few bundles going out there i uh tofi to tofi Thank you. I, everyone give Tofi a big round of applause, big pat on the back, because Tofi's been a diehard of sending in news for the pit stop, so I appreciate that very much. For another three hours, though, the, the racing bundle, Burn Rubber Bundle, is available, so pay more than the average of $10 to also unlock. Um, get behind the wheel of great racing games like NASCAR Heat 5, Standard Edition, Assetto Corsa, and Kart Craft. Plus, your purchase helps support API. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, pay $1 or more, and you can get that. Uh, pay more than the average of $10 and also get Dirt Rally, Grip, and Racer. Pay $12, and it basically gets you just, like, all these cool racing games. So, if you're in need of games, it's Friday. Good time to get a new game. Uh, you can do well with Humble Bumble. Hum Humble Bundle. <laughs> I love bumbling Humble. All right, let's look at a few sim rigs, talk about my racing, and then call it a day here, guys. This made me laugh. Uh, I don't know if this is right, but anyway, Fanatic Wiring Help. And it, you can just see the diagram of compatibility between products, bases, how you plug them in, depending on what. And anyway, at some point, this guy's just scribbling his own lines across it to make sense of the whole thing. And it just gave me a good chuckle. So there you go. Nothing really to see there. Uh, and Z x5 after a year of unemployment he decided to treat himself with a setup so there you go we we just last week we we're talking about did you upgrade because of covid did covid affect you to improve your sim chassis uh i did not i do that every day that's my job did you did you upgrade your chassis in any way sh shape or form was it a small upgrade excuse me excuse me <laughs> I don't know if any of this is any of it, but I got the COVID shot yesterday, and uh, I don't know. Now, this morning, I'm a little congested, and I'm apparently gassy. <laughs> there you go. There you go, everybody. I share. All right, one more rig. It was a short day on, produ on products or rigs on Reddit, but uh, Detective New 3480. He's been working on a 3D printed version of a Fanatic new BMW wheel. Almost done. Just need some knobs and wiring. So, uh, good looking design. I like that carbon fiber. How did he... Is that a wrap that he did on that? Because I am pretty impressed if it is. I couldn't get mine to wrap that nicely. How'd you do that, dude? I need to do another one. I'm, more, I'm about to begin my second 3d printed wheel project i'm not going to print the grips this time i'm going to let momo do what they do best and i'm going to build a hub to go with a a wheel all right i have not streamed racing in a while i've been trying to cut down you know truth be told you guys this is i guess news i've been trying to really focus at the efforts of the sim pit in the direction for channel growth um and I've just learned that as much as I love racing, and I still do, as much as, but the whole letting the show get taken over by streaming of races maybe was not the best choice for the show, for the Sim Pit. Uh, with that, I've, I've really not been streaming over the last few weeks. I've been trying to come up with a really good game plan. And, you know, I open my, my door to you guys. My email is Sean, S H A U N, at the Sim Pit .com. If you ever have suggestions for the Pit Stop, you have suggestions for the Sim Pit in general. I'm always listening. I listen to the community every day, trying to make sure that this show is tailored for and designed for the sim racing community as best I can. One of the metrics for me to judge that is by growth. And anyway, uh, I, this Sunday, will be streaming my Sim Pit uh, GT3 League. We kick off the season at Lime Rock. Definitely not my favorite track for really fast cars. We're in the GT3 cars. It's going to be crowded at Lime Rock. Uh, should be fu somewhat exciting. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for survival to an extent. Figure if I can get through the first five, six corners on the second lap, at about that point, I might be able to gain some comfort. But it's going to be crazy for the first couple laps. Anyway, we kick that off this Sunday, and I will be streaming that race and deciding what other streaming is on uh, going to happen in the near future. In addition to that, 
tomorrow right here on, at the Sim Pit on YouTube. We have three wide. Me, Amir Saad, and Devin Booth will be taking on some topic. We have a few things we've been talking about uh, for tomorrow's show. Uh, we have nothing locked down yet. We'll debate that tonight. Again, if you have suggestions for anything for three wide, Sim Pit, or anything, you email me, Sean, S H. AUN at the simpit.com, and I'm always looking forward to your suggestions. So that is going to do it for today's show. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of the Simpit community and being part of the show. This is the Simpit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.